Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, today I want to talk about the 2020 Tacoma. Specifically, I wanted to put all in one place all the information about the 2020 Tacoma so that if there's anybody out there that's just wondering or looking for a 2020 Tacoma, you don't have to go all over the place to find out the information. You can find it all right here in this video. So let's get started. First of all, most importantly, when can you get or order a 2020 Tacoma? Well, it kind of depends. You can get one right now. They are out there, but of course, you would have to pick up one that they have on the lot. That may or may not be the trim level with all the options and stuff that you're looking for. So, if you order one, what's the lead time? Well, lead time as of about three and a half weeks ago was eight to 20 weeks. Kind of depends on what's in the pipeline. If you can snag one that's already in production, I wasn't able to do that. And what options you're looking for. So what's new? What's new with the 2020? Should you make that leap? You know, if you have a 16, an 18, maybe even a 19. We're gonna run through that list real quick. First of all, there is the 10-way power adjustable seat with a lumbar. Big improvement. A lot of people complain about the seats in the existing Tacomas. Next up, LED headlights and new tail lights. Depends on the trim level that you get, but they're available. Eight inch touch screen. Again, depends on the trim level. A lot of these do, so I'm gonna quit saying that. But there is an eight inch touch screen available. That comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you can get across the board now. Doesn't matter which side screen you get. There is a 360 degree multi-terrain cam. Now that would come in very handy for all you mall crawlers out there who need to see where those big strips of concrete are. Gotta make sure you don't run over those. Next up, new grills. They've got some new grills for the trucks. You can see pictures of those at Toyota, of course. New tires and wheels. I think manufacturers change tires all the time anyway, but they do have new lighter weight wheels for the 2020. New interior seat design. A lot of people have complained about the design of the Tacoma, the Tacoma seat, that it hasn't changed much over the years. Well, now there is a new seat design. I don't know that I'm really digging it. I don't know that it's that much different, but there is a new seat design. Passenger touch entry. So now you can walk up to the door if you're the passenger and maybe the key is somewhere near and touch that door, you know, the handle and the door will unlock. That for me is particularly handy if I want to sit something in that side of the truck and I have something in my hands, you don't have to reach in my pocket for the key fob, I can just touch the door and it'll unlock. Next up, Voodoo Blue is now an available color below the TRD Pro line. Now, for you TRD Pro, guy, Pro guys who wanted the Voodoo Blue, can't get it in the TRD Pro anymore. But, but, you can get that new Army Green if you're into that. It's only available in the TRD Pro trim level. Next up, speaking of colors, what colors can you get? Well, excluding the Army Green, that's a Pro only trim level. So if you get a Pro, you can get that. You have your choice of Voodoo Blue, Super White, Silver Sky Metallic, looks kind of silver to me, uh, Magnetic Gray Metallic, that's the color of my Tundra over there, Midnight Blue, or I'm sorry, Midnight Black Metallic, Barcelona Red Metallic, well, that's what that truck is right up there, that's the Tacoma I currently have, Quicksand, that's that kind of desert sand kind of color, and cement, which is kind of a gray, bluish hint. Um, not really silver, I would say, but you know, that kind of color if you're not familiar with it. What trim levels are available? And I'm also gonna give you the prices on these. These are the starting MSRP prices. So of course, if you add anything to it, you know, like a drop of water on the hood, the price goes up. But here we go, you have the SR, that is the entry or lowest level you can get, 26,050 US dollars. The SR5, 27,825. The TRD Sport, 
starts at an MSRP of 32725 The TRD Off-Road, 34000 even. The Limited, now we're getting up there, the Limited, 38790 And lastly, the King of the Hill, the one that sits at the top, the elusive TRD Pro for 43960 MSRP. I've seen them as high as 49,000, so it goes up from there. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is the estimated miles per gallon? Now, interestingly, this varies a little bit. The SR and the SR5 are rated at 19 and 23. The TRD Sport Off-Road and Limited are rated or estimated at 19 and 24. And the TRD Pro the top of the hill is at the bottom of the barrel, 17 and 20. Next up, can you get a manual transmission anymore? I've talked about this a lot on the channel. Uh, I ordered a manual transmission, you know, the dying breed. You can get them, but you better get them while you still can. I've said before, I think in about five years they'll be gone, maybe less than that. Now, per Toyota's website, you can only get the manual transmission in the TRD and Pro trims. No manual transmission in the SR, the SR5, or the Limited. Can't get it. So you see, they're already phasing it out. You have to get a specific trim to get a manual transmission now. It won't be long. Get them while you can. Uh, let's see. What about cabs? What cab sizes are offered? No longer can you get a single cab. That's gone. That's been gone for a while. But you can get an access and you can get a double cab. What bed lengths are available? People are always talking about wanting the longer bed, but it's interesting in the real world, you know, where most of us live, I rarely ever see a long bed. But man, it is a hot bed topic on some of the forums and some of the groups. It depends on what trim uh, you want. You can get a six foot or a five foot length bed, but again, it varies. It varies on the trim that you want and the cab that you want. So you gotta, again, you gotta make a decision as to what you're willing to give up almost to get something that you want, I guess. When is, and this is looking forward a little bit, I guess, when is the remodeled Tacoma coming? You know, it's, it's really a shot in the dark guess. There's a lot of theories out there. So I, I kind of combined a few to come up with a bit of a range. Um, what I've seen is, is somewhere between 2021 and 2023, somewhere in that area. So it could be as early as the next model year or as late as 2023. Now, the interesting thing about this, and since they're working on a remodeled or redesigned, Tundra is that the Tacoma and the Tundra are going to share the same platform. That's going to be interesting. And I think since the new Tundra is supposed to be out, again, kind of varies as to what you hear. I'm thinking 2021, 2022 more likely. You might actually see a remodeled Tacoma somewhere around that same time frame. Because if they're gonna switch over, they build the Tacoma and the Tundra at the same plant in San Antonio. So if they're gonna switch or they're gonna add a platform, now maybe they could run them side by side, I suppose, because they're not built on the same platform right now. So they could run them in parallel until they completely tool or switch over for the Tacoma. But I'm guessing it's not gonna be long once they have that new Tundra out before the new Tacoma follows behind it so they can get it all onto that same platform. And by the way, in case you're interested or you want to check it out, that new shared platform is codenamed F1. So if you look up the Toyota F1 shared platform or maybe Tundra F1 platform, you'll be able to read what little there is about the shared platform between the Tundra and the Tacoma. More on that to come as more is released. Anyway, that is the scoop on the 2020 Tacoma. Again, trying to put as much information as I could in one place so that if you're out there or you're just curious and you want to see what the deal is with the 2020, what you can get, what it comes with, 
how it's a little different, what more they've thrown in. There you have it. That's the info on the 2020. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, particularly of this shared platform that's coming up. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about that. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye. Show prep, show prep, show prep, video prep. Good afternoon. How you doing? What's your...